Oh, oh my god. god. That was too tired. That was so <laughs> long. Dinner time, let's go. Alright, so we are at Brow Factory. First meal in Dresden. Holy, look at the spread. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, Sean, nice to meet you. Hello. Hey. What's up, everyone? So today is going to be a very, very interesting day. And this is Matt. We're in Meissen here. This is my winery that I run together with my sister since mm. uh, 2016. Yes. The vineyard we're in here now is uh, called Klausenberg. Klausenberg. So that's our single vineyard. Mm -hmm. Cool. And what am, what am I going to do today? Am I going to like step on grapes to produce the wine? Uh, no, <laughs> it's, it's still too early for harvest. Too so early, we, okay. Sure. We can have a look around and take some leaves off because that's what we do at the moment. So what we're doing at the moment is that we take off leaves here just to get some more airflow. Ah, so okay. We want nice and dry um, grapes so they don't start to start to rot. So, so they are very close to harvest already? Yeah, yeah. Cool. I think it's now two or three weeks and then we're going to start picking. Nice! Best time of the year for us. It's like, <laughs> it's gotta get it's like Christmas because you work a whole year and then you get what you worked for. Wow, okay. Oh yeah, just try. Mm, nice and sweet. Yeah. When you eat grapes out of the supermarket, you think they're sweet, mm. but they're like maybe 80 or 100 grams of sugar. But if you compare to the grapes we use for winemaking, uh -huh. they're about 220 grams of sugar, so it's more than double the sugar. But the size is so small. Yeah. Wow. So right now we drink a Miller Tour Dao, and it's a nice and fresh wine, easy drinking, not too much alcohol, so good to drink while working. Let's get drinking. Can't <laughs> <laughs> wait. Porsche. Yeah. Mmm. Really smooth. Yeah. So this is our wine cellar. That's where we uh, store all the wines after fermentation or during the fermentation. So we pick the grapes in the vineyard and then we uh, press it and the juice is getting pumped in here or in wooden barrels. We're gonna check that later. Yeah, that's where I want you to clamp in now. This one? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go inside and get fermented. <laughs> Holy. There you go. Oh. <laughs> in two to three weeks, the harvest is going to be ready and it will be filled with wine and grapes ready to be fermented and get busy. Woo! Okay, so right now we are at the wine bar. It's called Weinzen Bar. So basically this uh, it means Wine Central yeah, and it is Matt's favorite wine bar in town. <laughs> Alright, thanks for everything man. Yeah, no worries. Cheers. Nice to meet you. Very beautiful vineyard. I really now know how to appreciate wine a lot better. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, the good. amount of work goes into it. That's okay. Good. Have a good time. Okay, here. you too. Yeah. Thank you man. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Taking the choo choo train, choo choo train. <laughs> All right, guys. So right now we are in Hofloschnitz. <laughs> I hope I got it right. We are having um, a German snack. Certainly does not look like a snack. It's Flammkuchen. Flammkuchen. 
and we're gonna enjoy it with some really good white wine over here. I am so hungry. It's been a long day, so let's dig. Oh, I am crispy. The bacon, I mean, it's like so simple, like just some onions, some bacon, and a bit of cheese. Yeah, cheese. Wow. Cheers. Plus the view. This is amazing. <laughs> Okay guys, so right now I'm going to have traditional Saxony cuisine and I'm with Michael, where are you? Oh yeah, Michael! The atmosphere here is amazing, the theme is on point, 10 upon 10. Yeah, the atmosphere is just really really great with all the music going on. Here we go. Mm. It's like a pancake but a very rich and a more flavorful pancake. With the applesauce, it's, it's so good. Everything just goes so well together. It's a perfect blend and a perfect way to end the night with this dessert. Man. Right, so that's all for the YouTube channel takeover. I just want to give a huge thank you to the Visit Dresden guys for having me over here. It's been a real, real honor and pleasure. And let me just say that I feel so much more connected to this beautiful city by mingling with all of the locals and just having a taste of their life. It's really, really amazing. And so that's it. I'll catch you guys somewhere in the internet. Take care. Bye.